This is a response to a, a challenge from Wheeled and Well Armed about my top 5 plus 1 steel frame guns. Uh, we'll talk more about that challenge right after the break. Stay around. <laughs> I want to welcome you to Rider's Range, and uh, I was recently tagged by Wheeled and Well-Armed. Uh, if you haven't uh, seen his channel before, you might check it out. Uh, he's got some very interesting guns on there. Uh, anyway, uh, he was responding to a challenge from uh, Big Johnson's Guns and Gear, and uh, the original video was uh, the top six steel frame guns, but it turned out that most of them weren't steel. Uh, so Wheeled and Well Armed did one on his top five plus one. Uh, a couple other channels have also done that. MD Polo uh, Gun Channel I know also did one. Um, so we're going to take a quick look at mine and we're going to do them in reverse order. And again, these are not all steel, although the first two are. Number one, actually, this is number five. This is the first full-size 1911 that I ever owned. I owned a, a couple of smaller ones prior to this, but I bought this many years ago um, for the the uh, anti um, Smith and Wesson 1911 folks. Yeah, I know you'll say this is not a real 1911 because it has an external extractor. Uh, a lot of people don't like the uh, the fish scale on it uh, for the cocking serrations front and rear. Um, but this has been a wonderful shooting gun. It's been highly reliable, and um, this isn't my favorite carry gun. If I did a, a video on just my top six plus one or five carry guns, it, it, this wouldn't be in it. But um, this, for a range gun, shoots very, very well. I know it, uh, some people might think uh, all the, the bright stainless is a little bit gaudy. Certainly the fish scales are a little gaudy, but it's a, it's a well-made gun. It's got good texture on it. Uh, I don't like the three dot sights, but you've, if you've seen any of my videos, you know I don't like three dot sights in general. However, these do work well. This gun is extremely accurate. Um, it's got a lot of features on it for the price, and it's a it's a very, very well-made gun. By the way, every gun that you'll see in these videos uh, unloaded. There are no magazines in them, nothing in the chamber. They're all safety checked and unloaded. So, number five, my Smith & Wesson E-Series 45 Smith & Wesson 1911. Number four, another steel frame 45. This one is a Dan Wesson point man carry again. No magazine, nothing in the chamber. And again, it is a somewhat gaudy gun because it's stainless steel, bright, uh, fairly bright stainless steel, uh, slightly polished. And uh, it does have nice wood grips on it. Again, like the Smith, this is a, a textured um, grip on the, the front as well as mainspring housing. Uh, this has a little better sights. It's a plain notch rear, which I like, and a uh, red fiber optic front, which works really good unless I'm aiming at an orange or red target in the, in the sunlight. Uh, we did have an initial problem with this particular gun, but uh, Dan Wesson rectified it very quickly, and this has turned out to be uh, a very nice range gun. It's all steel, all stainless steel. It is a little heavy on the carry side, but uh, I have carried it. I wouldn't hesitate to carry it again. It's a, it's a really nice shooter. Dan Wesson, point man carry. Next on the list, alloy frame. I don't find too many of these around. This is an STI, back when STI was actually called STI, not staccato. This is a Duty One 5.0, and it's a 5.0 light because it has an alloy frame. Uh, nine millimeter instead of the uh, 45s that we've had before. Plain black sights, which are very nice. Uh, these are a Heine ledge rear sight on it. Um, again, some people may not like the hex tack type uh, uh, checkering uh, on the, the rear, matches on the grip, matches on the, uh, the fore part of the grip, uh, even carries through to the mainspring housing. Uh, does have front cocking serrations, 5 inch barrel does have a rail on it if you want to hang something. I'm not fond of hanging things on a civilian uh, gun, although if this were a duty gun, it does say duty one on it, then uh, I'd certainly be carrying a flashlight on it. Highly accurate gun, wonderful trigger. Some people may complain because the trigger face itself is plastic, but um, it hasn't uh, hampered this gun's function in any way, shape, or form. Uh, and again, you just don't find any of these around anymore. Duty one, 5.0 light from what the company formerly known as STI. Moving down the list, another 
Dan Wesson. Um, this, um, until I found a couple guns that I like a little bit better, this was my everyday carry gun. This is the ECO. Uh, I believe that it stands for Executive Carry Officer. Officer size frame, three and a half inch barrel and slide, alloy frame of course. Uh, this one does have uh, starburst grips on it. Uh, this didn't come that way, but um, they do add a certain attractiveness to it. Uh, solid uh, gripping texture on the grips. Uh, checkered mainspring housing, checkered uh, front of the grip. This is about 25 lines per inch, so it's uh, it's not super aggressive, but it's uh, it does feel nice. Um, nicely finished uh, reverse crown, almost flush cut barrel, and. Um, this has a uh, Heine straight eight sights. These are my absolute favorite combat type sights if you're gonna have uh, uh, iron sights on a gun, and I still like it. This gun shoots amazingly well. Uh, nice trigger, nice grip, nice feel, and the thing I like about uh, this particular one, and I did see that a little bit also on the Point Man Carry, also Dan Wesson, is the rounding of the mainspring housing. Just a little bit, and that breaks up the lines. It doesn't print quite as much. Uh, for a concealed carry gun. So my Dan Wesson ECO, I like this so much that I got a second one in 9mm and I also got one in 45. A uh, little pricey nowadays um, when you can find them. I managed to get all of these on the uh, consignment market and uh, got them at a, at a very good price. So this would be my number two out of the five and we'll get to the plus one here at the, the very end. So this is number two. I still do carry it on occasion and do like it. Dan Wesson ECO. Number one. I never thought I'd go for a double stack 1911-ish gun, but my Wilson Combat EDC X9 is uh, turned out to be my um, one of my favorite carry guns. Um, again, double stack, so it, it feels a little different in the hand. I was initially turned off by the idea of double stack, but when I actually measured it, the width of the grip uh, is not much wider, just a fraction wider than a standard 1911 grip. We're talking just uh, just a fraction difference when you've got standard size grips on it. And uh, it does fit well in the hand. Uh, this has um, a uh, combat U-notch rear sight and fiber optic front green instead of red on this one. Serrated slide top. I've done a couple of videos on this. In fact, I've done videos on, on all of these guns. Has the uh, hex tack type treatment on the front of the grip, back of the grip that uh, blends into the starburst grips. Uh, hex tack again on the cocking serrations forward and rear. Very, very nice gun. Fluted barrel. Um, never thought I'd like it, but boy does this gun shoot nice and it carries nice. So this would be my number one and my plus one is my daily carry gun. This is the um, Staccato C Duo. Well, it was Duo when it came out. D-U-O for Dawson Universal Optics. They've now changed that to D-P-O for Dawson Precision Optics. And uh, again, this is the Staccato, and uh, this was made when it uh, is the, the company name is Staccato, not uh, STI anymore. Um, this isn't a steel frame gun. This isn't really even an aluminum frame gun. It's a hybrid gun with a polymer grip uh, module as well as an aluminum uh, frame itself. So those two together make it a hybrid. Um, when I got the original Staccato, uh, Staccato C, um, I loved the gun. Had a couple of complaints with it. One was surprise. The trigger was too light. Another is that it's harder to find a holster with that squared off trigger guard and the rail. Uh, but I managed to find a couple. Uh, they have not cured my other complaint, and that is the magazine release is still too small, too smooth, and uh, it'll hard, I have to change my grip to be able to drop a magazine. But otherwise, this gun came through with a 3.5 pound trigger, which is perfect. Uh, has the Swamp Fox Sentinel sight on it, which I love. The uh, rear sight is separate from the, um, the optic itself. It's uh, built into the mounting plate and is drift adjustable and co-witnesses with the front. Uh, not a big fan of the ambidextrous safety, but that's how it comes, and so far it hasn't caused any problems for me. Um, three and a half inch barrel, or three point, I think it's three point nine inch barrel on this gun. And uh, again, it is my daily carry gun. So that's my plus one out of the five plus one. So a good collection. The problem is it was hard to narrow down uh, favorite guns out of this because I, uh, if you watch my 1911 series, you know that um, we've gone through what 44 different 1911s in our uh, in our series, 
and many of those are really wonderful guns. I, on any given day, I might decide uh, something a little bit different for my uh, actual 5 plus 1, but uh, for today, there we are. A combination of uh, Smith & Wesson, Dan Wesson, uh, STI slash Staccato, as well as Wilson Combat. I could have put a Nighthawk in here easily, could have put a different Wilson in here, several Kimbers. Um, I almost put a, a Colt Wiley Clap Commander in here. Could easily have come in there as one of my favorite guns uh, on any d given day. So, there they are. I appreciate you watching this uh, quick one. Again, thanks to Wheeled and Well Armed for uh, uh, including me in the challenge and uh, for Big Daddy Guns and Gear for starting this thing. If you like this video, we do appreciate a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Click on the notifications bell so you know what's coming up on Rider's Range. We are getting a video out at least every week if we can. Uh, more, uh, lots more in the pipeline. Comments on this video down below are highly appreciated. Comments to anything else at info at ridersrange.com. We'll pop an email back just as soon as we can. So thanks for watching the uh, Riders Range response to Wheeled and Well Arms Challenge, our 5 plus 1 favorite metal guns. Thanks for dropping in.